you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. I'm gassed for today's video because, right, I'm going to stick a duck over the product so you guys can't see it. You guys know what it is. But you know what? Just for dramatic effect, I'm going to stick a duck over it so you guys can stare at my duck. Right here, we've got a product which is basically a mating call for the courses, basically. If you have this on your car, you are basically like um, a bird in the African rainforest that, you know, has the pretty feathers. One flash of this product, and honestly, Corsa Meetup, whew, one Corsa can impregnate about 50 in one go. So, I mean, this product is a must. <laughs> right, let me actually show you guys what this product is in three, two, one, bob, bob. Bitch, uh, cuz I'm Asian, I'm gonna translate this for you guys. Wishy wishy wash wash blink blink LED. Basically, these are actually RGB fog lights. Like, what? Come on now, come on now. We're not playing around on this channel. We're not putting on hybrid turbos, we're putting on bloody RGB lights, come on now. So if you guys have never seen these before, basically these will replace bulbs in the fog lights for these. So basically, I never use these bloody fog lights. I think fog lights are the most useless shit I've ever used in my life. I have drove in some pretty thick, and I'm talking booty thick fog. I've turned on my fog lights and they do fuck all. And you might be saying, oh, they did let other drivers know you're coming. They let other drivers know that you're coming about two feet away from them knowing, seeing your actual headlights. So right, here are the lights and then here are the fog lights. And basically just a yellow light, it is useless. I mean, they actually look quite cool to be honest, but I decided for like pictures of my car and stuff like that, I'm gonna actually get these RGB fog lights. Oh, and we also, sorry for interrupting again, we've actually got some daylight running lights um, to install on the car. These are white ones. Boys, the first thing we're going to change is the daylight running lights. I'm just going to do that quickly. What a chow! Here, I don't know if you can actually see, there's a little twiddly thing. I think if you twiddle that, the daylight running light should come out, you know? There you go. So then, here is the old one. It's just a white one. And then we've got a blue one. And then we get the new one and we just pop that beach in. I think. Pop it like that. Whack on the lights, I guess. Bang. Let's have a look. That is the old one. Here is the new one. So we have got the daytime running lights in. They're a little bit, a little bit dim. They're not very bright, to be honest. But you know what? They are daytime running lights. Happy days, but also not happy days, you know? So if you guys don't know how, what kind of fucking stupid ass job this is to change a fucking bulb, you have to take off the whole front bumper. Well, today, when I was fitting my spitter, I actually found out you could just jack the car up and go underneath it and change the bulb from there. So I basically took the whole front bumper off for no reason. All you need to do is jack the car up and then you can reach in and grab the bulb. So yeah, um, basically I'm a fucking idiot. So basically we have got like seven or eight clips. We've got one, a bolt. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got four underneath the car and then we've got two, one, and then two there. Basically, I'm just gonna get that all done and we can have some RGB full lights. It's gonna be sick. Also, stay tuned for my uh, front splitter. I've actually ordered a front splitter for my car and I'll be putting that on in the next few videos or next video or so. Next few screws are actually underneath the car which is going to be really hard for you guys to see. Basically, I'm just going to get them off. Um, every single bolt I think is off the car. Um, we're gonna try and yank the side of the front bumper. Oh shit. That came off so badly. So as you guys can see, the, the front bumper is now off. I'm really waiting to see if I've broken anything because this fell off hard, this did. So we've got both fog lights out. Literally, if you twist it um, out of this housing, bang, and you yank it out and then you press it in this button right here. 
this little bouncy thing. Fam, we've got the front bumper off. What the f***? <laughs> now, let's get the new fog lights. Here, here are my old bulbs. As you guys can see. Right. There you go. There's the bulbs. So I'm going to quickly connect this up to the fog light thing. I'm going to see if it works. Oh, it's working! Wait, that's mad! Look at that, what the hell? She's blue? Mate, that's mad. That's she yellow. Oi, look at that! That is mad king! Fam, I'm a ling long. Fam, we've done it, we've done it. Jeez, we turned my car into an alien. Jeez! Fam, like I said, this is a mating call. Two flashes with the fog light and... Pfft, this car is impregnating women. Um, the fog light didn't actually end up fitting in the like housing, you know, it obviously connected up as you guys saw But it didn't fit in the housing like this is what it looks like normally, right? So I've actually had to sand down the outer ring of this which isn't you know <laughs> It's not advised that you sand down a bloody bulb. But you know what I sanded down all the plastic bit um, So that it would fit and this actually fit I'm gonna sand the top of it down and the bottom of it and then I leave just one of these things just to kind of like hold it in place. I need to disconnect this thing, the old bulb, and reconnect the new one. Like, this. Let's get this front bumper up back on. Lads, we've got the front bumper back on, thanks to my sister, you know. I probably would not have done that so easily if it wasn't for my sister. Um, definitely a two-person job, but you know, they all line up perfectly, like like how they did before. But we have, in fact, got the fog lights installed! I actually can't believe that. That was a long, maybe an hour and a half I've been here. We have officially got the fog lights on. Let's quickly go outside and take a look. I've got the remote in my pocket. And I'm very excited to try this out or see what it's like. We're not going to see the full effect of it in the daylight, but <laughs> what? Mate, that is that is how boxer courses should come factory. Oh my god, it looks sick. That is ridiculous. Where is that fucking remote? Oh, blue. Mate, that looks so mean. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in the bloody Antarctic Ocean. Look at that. You cannot tell me that is not worth about £10 off Amazon. Let's try a different colour. Let's try bloody yellow. Mate, the, the way that it transitions is absolutely crazy. Look at that. Bang. So we can have it red to match the brake calipers. Red. It's a bit fuzzy on this camera, but that looks so good. We are about to turn on the fog light. I'm honestly so excited because I think it looks sick. In the day, it looks sick. So, you know, it's a little bit darker now. It's not like completely nighttime yet. Um, but, what are you doing? But obviously, I wanted to film like in the evening when it's not too dark, just purely because um, you can see the car as well as the fog light. Whereas at night, you'd only be able to see the fog light and it would just be a light basically. So you could be like, oh, that's a nice light. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. All right, we're gonna whack on the ignition. As you guys can see, all the, oh, all the bing bong, wing wong light turn on. Then we turn it like this. Wait, oh, we can, oh, we can turn it on from there, look. Right, so now the fog light should be on. And where's the remote? We've got the remote right here. Oh my God, that looks fucking insane. It's not even focused. Oh my God, that's so bright. It looks so good. Look at that, mate. It looks like a bloody ca plasma cannon. <laughs> Mate, that is no joke. I feel like I'm in a bloody aquarium. Look, I could film in that. Jeez. No, that is very, very nice looking with the daytime run lights that are white. You know, I installed them as well as the fog lights. That looks really good, that does. And then we've obviously got that side. And then we can change the colours, as you guys can see. Red. No, red. Mate. This is no joke, the best £12 I've ever spent in my life. Mate, that looks so fucking good. It's actually unbelievable. <gasps> Unfortunately, I can't really say much more than that. Let's let's go through all the colours, right? That's green. And obviously, you can have one green. And then, just to be a boss-ass bitch, you can have one blue. So, blue. 
and then green. But look at that, that is, that is so gorgeous. That's so much better than my old, you know, stupid fog lights. That is all for today's video. Honestly, let me know what you guys think of these because I think that it is... If you guys don't use your fog lights, this is a perfect way of replacing them. Like, genuinely, very, very happy with this purchase. Boys, it was literally 12 quid. You know, you can't even complain. But you know what? Here it is from here. Mate, it looks like there's apples in my bloody Corsa. Trust me, even when it gets darker, it's going to be a lot more nicer. Uh, but obviously, I just wanted to show you guys while it's still a li little bit um, light. There you go. There's the bulb. This fits nicely and obviously once we get the front splitter on that's going to look even sicker pain in the ass to install but very very happy with it you know all right then here's the last look of it mate that's getting brighter and brighter happy happy days but yeah guys unfortunately that is the end of today's video follow me on instagram at the underscore other stuff and hopefully i'll post some you know night shots of the bog light in the night basically on my story and stuff like that um also subscribe if you are new and if you didn't end up enjoying today's video i don't know how you got to the end of the video but don't subscribe anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video what?